Hello, this is Lloyd Chambers at DitchLloyd.com. In the rest of the videos in this article that these videos go with, I'm going to talk about focus. And focus is a much broader topic than you might think. Uh, in particular, we're talking about Zeiss DSLR lenses for Canon and Nikon. They're all manual focus. And the most critical uh, thing you need to do to get good quality is to get accurate focus. There's a couple of problems with the DSLR. One is uh, the image is made from light that goes straight through to the sensor and the focusing is done by light coming through, hitting a mirror, bouncing up into a focusing screen and then coming back through another optical system to your eye. Your eye itself may not be perfect and those are two separate light paths of two possible distances and all sorts of possibilities for error in between. Uh, worse, modern DSLRs for uh, digital SLRs do not have good focus screen, screens for manual focus. In fact, they probably can't really discriminate, allow you to discriminate between f1.4, f2, and 2.8. And that makes it very difficult to achieve accurate focus. Uh, and so what do you do about those things? Um, so that's one problem we're going to talk about in subsequent videos and article. The, uh, the other questions have to do with focus also, and that is things like focus shift. With some lenses, the focus changes with each aperture. So if you focus it at f1.4 and then shoot at f4, you're going to have a change in focus which may make your image less sharp. That's an, one issue. Another issue, again this is optics, not your eye or your focusing, is field curvature. The sharp the plane of focus is not necessarily a plane. It can come forward a bit and arc back a bit or maybe just does something like this. So you can see this if you shoot this, say, the side of a building, which is flat. Some areas will be a little soft and that's because the lens is actually quite sharp there, but it's not sharp at the same distance as the center. That's field curvature and it shouldn't be confused with distortion, which is a warping of shapes. Um, a lens that is very low in field curve, which is called a flat field lens. So in the rest of the article, I'm going to talk about these things uh, for Canon, for Zeiss lenses on Canon and Nikon in particular. 